Hi, this video tutorial I will cover static synchronization. Here I have defined the class uh, table. It has a print table method and uh, this print table method is uh, static synchronized method. Here I am printing the thread name which is calling uh, print table method. Here I have defined uh, for loop. It will loop for uh, 5 times. Here I am printing n into i n is the parameter and i is the for loop variable here thread will sleep for 400 milliseconds here i have defined the class static synchronization demo it has main method inside main method i have created thread one using anonymous class and override run method and provide implementation here uh, I am calling uh, print table method of uh, table class and uh, passing uh, 1. Here I have created uh, thread 2 using anonymous class and uh, override run method and provide implementation. Here I am calling uh, print table method and uh, passing uh, 10. Here I am starting uh, thread 1 and uh, thread 2. I am running this program. Here you can see the output and uh, you can notice the output is uh, consistent because uh, print table method is uh, static synchronized method. So no race condition will occur. So we will get uh, consistent output. At runtime every class has an instance of a class object. That is the object that is locked on by static synchronized uh, methods. Static synchronized methods synchronize on the class object. If one thread is executing a static synchronized method, all other threads trying to execute any static synchronized methods will be blocked. And this is about static synchronization. And thanks for watching.